Welcome back. We are here with part 19 of our Royal Family, Generation 1, and it's a little bit of a shorter video today, mostly because the lag on my computer was so real. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I need to like restart or something. So it's a little bit shorter. Today we are having Adora's birthday and we'll go into create a sim, give her some outfits, and then we will uh, fix up her room and give Eliza a teen room, and then uh, it will be love day. So we will have Xander and Cordelia going out on a little date. So that is what we have planned for this video. So right now Xander is baking the cake for the birthday party while everyone is at work and school. It is getting pretty close to the time where they should be coming home, but of course, because of the lag, that does not happen. So we are just going to have the birthday party anyway. And Xander, like I said, is a um, party animal, so he wants to get silver on three events that he throws. So I'm going to have him throw an actual birthday party, and we will, you know, hopefully be able to get a silver, and then that will check off one of the things that he needs to do. So. We are going to call the group over and then have them all come into the dining room and um, we will go get little Princess Adora and try and uh, get her to blow out the candles. And I'm just going to have our maid um, serve the buffet because people need to eat food. So here we come with the baby. There she is, blowing out the candles, so cute. And then we'll have everyone take some food. And her, we rolled evil, and I was like, she's not going to be evil. So then she got art lover. And, you know, she got a celebrity level when she aged up, and I think that's because both her parents are celebrities, but none of the other kids got that. So it's a little weird. Um, but we're at gold, so we're totally fine. Um... We are going to now have her join her clubs and get her title as well. So um, we are going to join Generation 2. We are going to join Nobility and then Royalty. So I have decided to have all of the members of the Royal Family join the Royalty Club just because otherwise it would literally be three people. So for right now, all princes and princesses and princesses get to be in the royalty club as well. So, okay, Haley is doing something in Cordelia's bed, and now my child is traumatized. <laughs> my child is traumatized. So I'm going to move this out of her bedroom, actually, because everybody needs to use it, so it shouldn't even be in her bedroom. But also, Haley, Haley is, like, out of control. Because she just flirts with everybody. She woohoos everywhere by herself with other people, whatever. It's just like out of control. <laughs> um, so let's just say that her and Long John have kind of an open relationship. Because I do want them to have a happy marriage, but I cannot control these sims. So we are going to change her outfits up a little bit. I actually did like that cool llama t-shirt that she was wearing in her everyday wear. So I let her keep that on. And then it kind of made me feel like she was a little more of a tomboy. Um... So I am just going to give her some pants, but also she wears like dresses too. She, she's, um, she's a cutie pie. So yeah, I love that t-shirt. It's very cool. And now we are back home and the time has rewound itself magically. So here we go into her room and actually we do have two more children. So what we're going to have to do is have Adora and Apollo share a room. So I'm going to put two beds into this room so that they can both sleep in here. And here we go. I'm just going to put a desk under her bed and we will put a few little crafty items on there as well. And then uh, we'll put in the second bed, which I don't know why like I can't find the bottom beds for these bunk beds. Not really sure what's going on there, but anyway. Um, we are looking through here to find it, so there it is, and uh, we chose a blue color and then a little closet, and we'll put in a couch and some book, bookshelf, bookshelves, one bookshelf, <laughs> um, and a stereo. I thought that that would be um, fun. I think that 
that these kids are a little more uh, easygoing, a little freer. So a little stereo there and a plant behind it. And then a bookshelf. I'll come back later and put a rug in here. But uh, we do need some wall decorations. So I'm going to put up some posters on the wall. And um, yeah, so kind of like music themed. Then I was like, oh, well, we got to put the one with the crown on it in there. And then um, I am going to move that in a second in favor of the llamas. So we'll put that over there. I'll put the llamas over here and put up a few picture decorations and then call it good for this room. I am going to come back and put a rug and change the wallpaper. So we'll do that in a minute. But um, over here, and I forgot last time that we need to change Eliza's bedroom because she's a teen now. So I'm going to clean out her room and then we will redecorate it for a teenager. So I'm just starting to get rid of everything. I do like the orientation of her room though. So I'm gonna keep the bed there and have like a seating area and then we will uh, have an area with a desk because Eliza has the best-selling author aspiration. So she is going to have a nice setup with like her desk and a place to write books. So that'll be good for her. And it's actually really hard for me to choose wallpapers. I have no idea why, but it is such a struggle. So anyway, we are going to use a combination of a couple of wallpapers here and then put in one of the new beds. We're very dream home decorator lately because that pack just came out. I actually do like the fur rug though. So we're gonna keep that there and then make like a sectional sofa facing the little balcony that overlooks the, um, what's it called, the ballroom. So this is going to face that balcony area. I mean, it's not really a balcony, but I don't know what else to call it. So we are just going to expand this a little bit. And then we are going to keep the idea that, you know, she can entertain here as well. So we are going to put in a drink tray on the coffee table. And that is her little couch area. And then um, we will put some bookshelves that we can put her awards on. So we are going to just do that and make this little desk area. So it's very cute, I think. And she is also going to be a Henry Puffer fan, of course. So we will be putting in those like little items in just a minute, but I'm trying to figure out the curtain situation because it's kind of hard to find medium height curtains. So I'm just going to put those there and then we will have some uh, end tables with a lamp and like a little clutter tray object, whatever on it. So that is what's going on there. And then of course we need some plants. So into the clutter, I'm just going to put like some stacks of papers. You know, she's a writer. She's got writing stuff. I don't know, papers, loose leaf everywhere. So then um, we are going to start with our CC a little bit there and then come in and actually find it. So she'll have some posters and, and the pillows and just different stuff around. So also I'm gonna use these like cute little flower things. Uh, paint, they're not paintings, are they paintings? Like sketches, I guess, above our plant. And then we will put the posters on this big wall here. I'll change the swatches in just a second. I love when something comes in like a million swatches. So we will put in the little clutter items over here and then call that good. There we go. And the curtains over there. And I think, I think that might be it for her room. Do we put up one more thing maybe? Oh, buy flag? Yes. Um, all my Sims are buy unless otherwise stated. <laughs> so I'm just changing the wallpapers everywhere. So there we go. And then a carpet, like I said, and then that is pretty much it for that. Cordelia, 
it is not home yet. Nobody's home. Why is Luna standing there? Was she always standing there? And I just noticed her right now. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're going to assign the bed to Adora. And then um, when Eliza gets home, we'll assign this bed to her. And what else? Everyone is eating cake and enjoying themselves. Camilla's uh, dress is clipping through the table. And Haley, Haley, look at her face. She's like, yeah, what about it? <laughs> Haley, put on some clothes. Oh my gosh. She is really just wild lately. I caught her and Chaz in the sauna. I'm like, girl, stop. Um, <laughs> You're supposed to be happily married. Oh, and look, our little, our little brother, Apollo, he took one of the toys off the shelves and is playing with it. And I'm like, okay, well you can take my toys. That's super cute. Um, so we're going to have her do her homework. Uh, Cordelia wants her to get an A in school. So she's going to do that. The birthday party went really well. And Haley, everyone is like, Haley, <laughs> the children are here. <laughs> Stop. Um, okay. Also, um, in the interim here, Chaz has definitely been seeing our former nanny more so I did go over to his house for a while and um I was like okay you can like he's he's not even gonna date her he's they're just they have a physical relationship so that is all that's going on with them but um he's like he's very self-absorbed and stuff so he's like too haughty to actually like consider uh, her as you know a potential future duchess and also that's against Luna's rules and whatever so we're just going to pretend that's not happening and I'm trying to get Cordelia home there we go it's not like it's four hours after you were supposed to be home I'm definitely gonna have to do something about my lag on my computer um and then yep Eliza is doing her homework while everybody is just hanging out and Cordelia I think went to the um the sauna because she's tense from work because she worked four hours late and uh eliza wants to stargaze with cordelia but only cloud gaze is an option which is strange because it's 10 at night but that's whatever so we're just going to ignore that and then i am also going to have eliza uh, write in her journal and i was hoping to get her and cordelia to do something but cordelia just totally walked away so that's fine Totally fine. Also, we have to do stuff for Eliza because she wants to be a best-selling author. I was thinking, now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I was thinking about sending Eliza to college when she ages up, and I'm not sure if that's going to work because we are playing rotationally, and I hear that if you leave your Sims in the middle of the semester that they'll fail. So we might just have to try it and see if she fails, but, you know. That's, that's my thought, because I do want her to do stuff. She is eventually going to join the monarchy career, because she's going to be queen one day, but that doesn't mean that she can't, you know, have another career in the meantime, like, because she's not going to be the queen for quite some time. I mean, Cordelia has plenty of life left to live in her. So, Eliza... Um, has some time to do whatever she wants. I think the gap between Cordelia being queen and Eliza being queen is going to be the largest because if you think about it, um, we went through, well, maybe that's not true. Let me think. Because, because I guess Eliza could be around Cordelia's age when she had her. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm wrong. No, no, I'm right, because because by the time Eliza gets to be a young adult, Cordelia will still be alive. So Eliza, when Eliza becomes queen, she'll be older than Cordelia was when she became queen, which means that the gap in between her, between Eliza and her child, their reigns will be smaller than the gap between her and Cordelia. Yes, okay. And Killian is going through a phase, so um, Xander has put on a bear suit in solidarity and is now going on a date with Cordelia in the bear suit. <laughs> so they went to the art gallery, and let me just preface this by saying this is not what the art gallery is going to look like, but I'm just putting all the pictures that we have in here, and then when the generation is over, I will organize all of this to look nice, and then we'll be done with this room. And uh, you can't, you can't woohoo right now because... 
I need you to get a good grade on this date. And also he needs to go to social events in different locations. That's why we chose the art gallery today. So we chose a different location because I didn't want to take them back to the restaurant. That wouldn't have counted towards his aspiration. It is so funny watching him in this bear suit. <laughs> um, but Cordelia also has to go to work. So I'm like, quick, get in five more interactions. And I, I'm just, we're a hot mess today. Everything's a hot mess today. Uh, so that's what's going on in my life. And my Sims are completely uncooperative. So, yeah, here is a glimpse at our art gallery. We have a little section on the left there with their wedding photos. And then we got, like, some cute little photos of them kissing. It's very adorable. Some family photos. Very nice. So that is pretty much where we're going to wrap up because the date is now over. And he's completed Love Day. She's almost done, I think, with Love Day. Um, Eliza's not going to be able to do Love Day because there's no one her age that she can do Love Day with. So, sorry. Maybe next Love Day. Uh, there will be someone. So we did quite a bit of things here, even though it was a little shorter than usual. I'm sorry about that. I will try to get it fixed for the next one. Um, and look at Apollo. He is so cute. And Haley. Oh my gosh. Uh, Eliza's just trying to do her homework. You know, she's just doing her best. And anyway, I love this like little setup in her room. I love her room now. Um, so that is a lot of fun. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun despite the lag. So um, I will fix that and catch you in the next one.